Well, March Madness is already here for high school hoops with the state championships taking place in Oregon. A lot is going on, but we've got you covered from Corvallis to Forest Grove and up on the bluff of the University of Portland. Fox 12's Nick Krupke live tonight at the Child Center at the 6A Boys Quarterfinals. Good evening to you, Nick. Hello, Liz and Wayne. You know, this time of year, if you're still playing, good on you. This is where you want to be, making memories one game at a time. All right, thanks. Get your popcorn ready. Well, it's cheap entertainment. <laughs> you know, it's great basketball. Savor the moments. I got a large. You have to have it to prove you were there. <laughs> <laughs> this is why they play. So you have to come hard, yeah. period. You can't be coming all soft, looking trashy. You have to come on point. It was all PIL in the marquee matchup of the night. It's <laughs> over. Period. <laughs> Part two last year. It's Jeff Way or No Way, period. J Way. J Way, J -way. J -way. J -way or No Way. Smells like teen spirit. A rematch of last year's title game, number three, Jefferson, and the reigning champs, number six, the Grand Generals. The slam dunk of a showcase, aced by the demos on both ends of the floor. Stuff them and stuff it, Cameron Robinson's neighborhood. Jeff up 22 after three. Washington commit Marcus Sahonis. Wants another the ring before leaving for those dogs. Number one, 22. Recall, he had a busted finger at state last winter. And Nate Rollins Kabonge with the line of the night. Seven blocks, 19 rebounds, 18 points. That'll do. Jeff back in the final four, 87-68 guaranteed. You'll be a new champion. This huge. Just knowing that I'm being able to play on this floor again. I haven't played since my sophomore year, and that's when I won it. So, I mean, that's, it's just huge from my personal standpoint, being able to come up big and win this game. The Demos, who won it all two years ago, now draw a second seed in South Salem. Featuring Portland State commit Jaden Nielsen Skinner. He and Trey Galbraith were quite the pair against Tiger, combining for 37. The Saxons sing to the semis, 56-46, to meet Jeff Friday at 3.15. I feel like if you weren't trying to come here and be on the biggest stage possible, I feel like she shouldn't be playing basketball. SSHS and Jeff meet Friday in the semis at 3.15. It was all Three Rivers League to begin the day. Top seed Lake Oswego, untouchable against Oregon City. 35-7 lead at half, 69-30 the final tally. As Laco in the tourney for the first time in six years, into the final four, catch the spirit. It's an incredible scene. And to see that many people come from our school, it's it's such a great feeling when you have all like your friends, all the students at the school on your back. Did you see the stands? Yeah. It was packed. Laker Army, shout out Laker Army on TV here. It was master versus student for the Holy War on the floor. Central Catholic head coach David Blue played for legendary Jesuit leader Gene Potter back in the early 90s. I wish we were playing him on a Saturday in a trophy game. The Mount Hood Conference champion Rams had won 17 in a row. The Crusaders halted it there. The Metro League champs paced by Will Schaefer. An out-of-body experience, 8 of 10 shooting, team best 22. Four Crusaders in double figures in their 64-38 victory. The Lakers and Saders meet Friday in the semis at 1.30. They split that season series. If you guys play well, you guys, you can take it the whole way. And I took that to heart. Taking it all to heart now. Perhaps two more games for those teams remaining. 6A girls take the floor tomorrow as well. Live at Channel Center, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.